Okay, that last video had a lot of technical stuff to discuss uh, that we were then going to look at in class. This one's going to be a little bit shorter and a lot easier to do. We're going to talk about optimizing and building your completed game because I have a feeling you're probably going to want to show this off to other people. So, how do you do that? For optimizing, you need to keep in mind that you will be submitting the final Unity and FMOD projects to me for your grade. This is just how to share your game with family and friends. First, we're going to go to FMOD, and we're going to go to Preferences, then the Build tab, then select Desktop from the project platform because that's what we're building for. You're going to set the encoding format to FAD PCM if you're going to use uh, you know, a lot of audio processing, or if you're using just tons of audio files but not really a lot of processing, you can set it to Vorbis. The FAD PCM is 100% uncompressed. It's going to be the better sound, but it uses more RAM that could be better used in the game for shaders, graphics, etc. You're going to make sure that the sample rate is at 48 kilohertz. And then, if you're using Vorbis, set the quality to the default 37%. If you notice issues playing through your game, then increase it to 50% and then step it up from there. Play through a couple times, make sure that the audio is as good as you can get it, and then, good. Set it, and then we'll go to Unity and build the game. So to build the game, First and foremost, you're probably going to want to have a logo for your game uh, that you can load into Unity. So create a logo and save it as a PNG, and then you can import that into uh, Unity. So select your logo in Unity, and in the inspector, set the texture type to Sprite, 2D, and UI. Then go to File. Build Settings, Player Settings, in Company Name, use your name. Product Name is the name of your game. Then drag that logo file from the uh, assets in Unity into the default icon. Under Resolution and Presentation Mode, set the resolution, but really you don't want to go above 1920 by 1080 in windowed mode. Be aware that that is HD, that most people do not have the ability to go beyond that, so don't. <laughs> then back in build settings, add all of your scenes to the scenes list in the build list. Set the target platform, PC or Mac. Once again, you'll be giving me the raw Unity and FMOD project folders. Then set the architecture if it's 64-bit or 32-bit, and it should probably be 64-bit and hit build. For the Mac, you're going to get one single .app file. Windows, you're going to get a .exe file and a data folder, both of which are required to play the game. That is it. That is how you build your game so you can share it with other people. 